Let's learn how to make shorts like Ali Abdal on CapCut PC. To add professional editing looks on your shorts, get more views and watch time. Let's start. Scene 1. First need to open CapCut new project and go to menu. Turn on free layer for all scene. Change the settings. And go to edit and turn on free layer. Save and close it. Open new project. Free layer turned on so you can easily move your clips up and down into timeline. Hover over the picture and bring into timeline. Change aspect ratio 9 by 16 for shorts. Scale this image. All the images are collected from pixel.com. Then bring the main video clip and move it up. Drag down this main video clip. Scale it. Go to cut out auto cut out. So background to remove from this clip. Go to video basic. Move this clip up and add keyframe which looks like a diamond shape. Increase scale. Add first keyframe for scale and position. First keyframe added into timeline. Move the playhead next spot to add second keyframe. Drag the clip down. Position keyframe will automatically added here. Decrease scale. Scale keyframe will automatically added here. And then move the playhead next spot to add third keyframe. Move down this video clip. Position keyframe will added automatically. Export. Final look. Scene 2. Bring the teal background into timeline. For creating second scene, bring this man image and move it up. And drag it down. Bring the women image and move it up. Scale the image. Select the man's image and go to cut out. Choose auto cut out. Select the women image cutout category, then select auto cutout. Crop the bottom part. Select the man's image and make it black and white color. Make the saturation zero. Go to Canva, choose create design. Scroll down and choose YouTube shorts. This white page will be open then. Oh, in the left hand side from color choose green color. Click on elements, then type in ripped paper. Click on graphics, bring it onto the layout. Click on share, download, format PNG. Then save and later import to CapCut. Add this green background ripped paper clip into timeline. Move it up. Cut out category, then select chroma key. To make the background transparent, select the chroma key. Increase strength. Move and scale it. Control C. And Control V. Or right click copy and paste. So I need this ripped paper for man's image. Move this one above man's image. Crop the man's image. And create compound clip. And create compound clip for women's clip. Go to left panel, choose text, add text. Enter text. Choose the font monstrate. And then go to add bubble. And adjust the length. And control C and control V or right click copy and paste. Edit your text and then choose the another bubble. Move the man's compound clip to add keyframes for position.
select the women's compound clip and move it down. Add first position keyframe. Select the man's compound clip. Move the playhead next spot. Drag the man's image down. It will automatically add the keyframe. Select the woman's compound clip and do the same steps to add keyframes. Your video should look like this. Move the two text on right side and then add the main person clip above the text. Cut out category, then select auto cut out. Drag this person clip down. Add first position keyframe. Move the playhead next spot and drag the person clip up. Second keyframe will automatically add it here and make sure X equal to zero to avoid shaky movement of person. Then select and right click select show keyframe animation. Then click on Y. Click on this drop down menu. The graph will come here. First you need to select the point and then from top choose Auto Curve. Move your playhead do the same for second keyframe here. So you see it becomes S shape. Click here. Right click on that and click and hide keyframe animation. Export. Final look. Scene 3. First need to bring the background. And then image and move it up. Cut out category. Then select auto cut out. Just remove the background. Click into effects. Do effects and then go to nightclub. Choose camera shake. Find a sticker like a question mark. Select Vibes. Create Compound Clip. Select this three files to make Compound Clip. Right click Create Compound Clip or Alt G. Then add the main person clip. Drag the clip down on preview area and move it up. Cut out category, then select auto cut out. Add green screen overlay file which create on Canva. I showed on scene to how to create this kind of file and move it up. Cut out category, then select chroma key to make the background transparent. Increase strength. Increase scale to fit the preview area. Go to mast. Choose split. Change the rotation angle. Move this overlay file by using this white line. Add keyframe to make this clip create a moving transition. Add first keyframe for position. Move your playhead second spot and after that, move this white line. Position keyframe automatically added here. Move your playhead third spot and after that move this white line. Position keyframe automatically added here. Move your playhead fourth spot and add last keyframe. Go to basic and drag this overlay file a little bit down. Your video should look like this. Move the main person clip up to this transition clip. I will add here keyframes for scale and position. Increase scale. Move playhead next spot drag this clip up.
position keyframe will automatically add it here. You can easily smooth keyframe here from keyframe graph, which I showed in scene 2. Click on export. Final look. Thanks for watching.